it's Beth and I'm up with our fifth episode of Stencil Play. I cannot believe that we have already done five episodes featuring different things that you can do with your stencils. So for this episode, Sarah and I decided to use stencils and watercolor pencils. And I found this old photo of my mini me. Um, she was a little over a year in this photo. And then I have some of these old frames. They are Heidi swap frames that I decided to use to frame the photo. And then my stencil is from Donna Downey. It is called the bubble stencil. And as you can see, it is well loved. I do. I love this stencil. So what I'm doing here is I frame the photo, I trimmed it off, and then I put some markings of where my photo was going to go. And then I'm just going to grab my watercolor pencils. I'm using Derwent watercolor pencils. I love them. They're amazing. So I'm using those and I'm just filling in the bubbles. And obviously I uh, edit out a lot of this part just because, I mean, you guys don't need to watch me fill in bubbles. But I used four different colors. I used a pale blue, this vibrant pink, a green, and a very light pink as well. Um, and I just, I had fun. I really did. I think that so far this has been one of my favorite ways of using um, stencils. So then, of course, because they are watercolor pencils, you know, you gotta get some water. So I just used a number four uh, watercolor brush and I went to town. My thought process for this was I just um, watered each color that was the same color at the same time. So all the blues were done at the same time and so forth and so on. And that just made it easier. When you see me reaching back into the bucket, that's just to redampen my brush a little bit so that the bubbles look better. And what is my next step is I bring everything back in. So there's my photo and then I decided that it needed some dimension so I grabbed some of this foam that I just have living on my desk and uh, pop that up on some, some of the craft foam. I'm getting better with using my ATG gun and craft foam. It, it's getting there. And then I erase my markings so that you don't see them obviously and then I'm going to go and dig through embellishments and of course I had to edit that part out as well because it took me forever now this circle had some black around so apparently my stencil wasn't very clean so I will give you a tip make sure your stencil is clean before you start this process so that you don't have anything appear on your paper that shouldn't appear on your paper but it's okay, it's all good. In the end, you really don't notice it too much. So here I am, I'm just flipping through embellishments and I pick a few things. Again, as you all know, if you watch my videos, I am a very minimalist scrapper. I don't get embellishment crazy. Um, the rabbit really has nothing to do with anything except for that it was a cute rabbit and I thought it would work with the layout. The, as well as the, um, it's like a springy theme. I mean, it's March. It's early March when this photo was taken. So the rabbit could definitely work for like a spring theme. My next thing is I grab, um, flare badges from Accent Scrapbooking and I'm digging through them to see what I could find that works. And then this floral badge, it says every day I love you more on it. I thought that was perfect. Then I did the Missy Wooden uh, thread thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting better. I'm still not, you know, as awesome as Missy is at this technique, but it is something that I definitely love doing which is the thread and the flare and I think it really just gives the layouts a nice texture to them. So I did some pink thread that I had in my stash and adhered that down with the scotch fine line uh well scotch glue in my fine line bottle. And then last step for me to do is add a title and some journaling. So I grabbed these old Amy Tangerine uh, alpha stickers and then these Ellie Studio stickers that I've had in my stash forever and my title ends up being Bubbles Are Life um, 
I, that second line, it was way too far. Um, so it was kind of there, but it kind of didn't do anything for me. It was, it was a waste of a line. My initial thought was I was going to outline my title in black, but I ended up not doing that. And in real life, the title is uh, a lot clearer than it looks like it is here. Last bit is my journaling and then I'm done. I just want to quickly mention I also opened my Etsy shop this weekend and I am selling travelers notebooks for all of your mixed media needs. I will leave a link to the video explaining all about those travelers notebooks below and I hope you give it a check out of uh, what I've got going on in my Etsy shop. Um, I'm really proud of these notebooks. They're just plain and perfect for mixed media. So thanks for watching this stencil play video and uh, please subscribe below. Thank you so much. Bye.